What's happening, troops? We are back with another movie trailer reaction. Now, the Marvel world is abuzz with Deadpool and Wolverine on the horizon. Is it going to reignite the fans' passion for Marvel after what kind of feels like a lot of us are having a bit of fatigue with Marvel? Now, they have been quite vocal about cutting things back a wee bit and going for quality over quantity. We've also got Deadpool and Wolverine. We've got the first trailer for Agatha that comes later on in the year. And in the trailer, we're going to take a look at today, Captain America Brave New World coming early in 2025. And it's obviously Mark Sam's first big outing as the main man donning that heavy shield, Captain America. Now, there has been a few reshoots and stuff like that for Brave New World, but Hopefully it's going to deliver because there's a few things that kind of excite me with this movie. We do have some kind of Hulk level hype with Harrison Ford. So let's not waste any more time and let's just dive into the trailer. Right, so here we go. There's big Harrison oh, Ford. Thunderbolt Ross. Thanks for coming in. I thank you for the invite, sir. But I have to admit I'm still getting used to the new look. Mm. Uh, they they uh, lose the election. recast new look, although Liv Tyler is returning. I haven't always That's better. agreed in the past, but I want to make another run at making Captain America an official military position. And if we disagree on how to manage this situation, then what happens? That shit's gonna go down. Work with me, Sam. We'll show the world a better way forward. I did instantly tell that's not going to pan out well. Sir, your inner circle has been compromised. Either you can't see that, or you don't want to. What if it's a trap? Global power is shifting. You're just a pawn. There's Gus and our kind of still America, secretive role. You're not Steve Rogers. Oof, rip to the White House. You're right. I'm not. I'm liking that wee graphic with it. Goes between the black and the white. And here we go. Oh, the best, the best thing that hyped me with the trailer. Obviously, the route there was rumours for um for old Ross turning into Red Hill. It looks like he gets shot at the start of the trailer. So are we going to get some kind of gamma stuff to uh, help him out? But yeah, your first little tease at uh, Red Hulk. Very excited to see where that goes. And then obviously, as mentioned, Giancarlo, but the, the very secret of role, we still didn't care much. Phenomenal actor. Like I said, I always call him Guts. Just for uh, the Breaking Bad and uh, Saul worlds. But it's going to be interesting to see what role he plays in that. But it's going to be a very interesting. Like I said, Liv Tyler returning after uh, being in the old Hulk movies as a uh, Thunderbolt's daughter. So she's still making a little comeback. But I'm liking the look here. I think overall, seems like it could be decent. Like I said reshoots and stuff, it's never a promising sign, but I mean, it's still quite common within the industry. But overall, I feel like it could be decent. Fingers, fingers crossed, like I said, the Red Hulk stuff alone kind of just really raises my, my interest and my peak. Always a big fan of uh, all the other variations of uh, um, Hulks. And uh, ugh, could we ever get a Planet Hulk movie? That would, uh, that would be phenomenal. But sound off in the comments. We're sceptical, we're feeling good. Like I say, is Wolverine and Deadpool gonna just kinda reignite Marvel and get it back to its kinda glory years? Sound off in the comments, the usual YouTube stuff as well. Hit that wee thumbs up, hit the sub button if you ain't already, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.